Today's guide is on how to transfer photos and videos from computer to iPhone. Whether your computer runs Windows 11, Windows 10, or older Windows version, the method we are going to use here works very effectively. There are different methods. You can use the iCloud method and there are other methods. So I have tested all the methods. So follow me as I put you through on the methods you are going to use to share your files from the computer to your iPhone. So with the cable you use in charging of your iPhone, connect one end to the USB port of your computer. Then connect the other end to the charging port of your iPhone. Once this connection is established, you will hear this sound that was generated from the computer, meaning that connection has been established. You may be prompted on your iPhone screen to allow your computer access the iPhone. Just type your passcode to grant permission, okay? Then after that, let's continue from the computer screen here. You need to install a third-party app developed by Apple on your Windows PC. That third-party app is called iTunes. Without the iTunes, as at when this video is created, you cannot easily share photos and videos from your PC to an iPhone using cable successfully. So it's important. So open your Microsoft Store. Once the Microsoft Store opens, you will see a similar interface like this. Click on this search area and then type iTunes. Press the enter key of your computer keyboard for it to search. Look at iTunes here. So it's already installed on this PC because I use it frequently for file sharing. Okay. But in your own case, since you're installing it for the first time, you will see an install button here. Click on the install button for it to install successfully. Just give it time. Okay. Which after that, you click on this open button. Once iTunes app opens, you'll be landed on this page. Ensure that you are on the library tab. So if you are taking to any tab, maybe store radio browse for you, please click on library. Okay. Ensure you are here. Then after that, click on this phone icon. This gives you these options here, these menu items. Because our interest is on file sharing. Click on file sh sharing, okay? Then this displays some apps that can share file between your Windows PC and your iPhone, okay? So select any of the apps that are listed here. If you don't see any app at all, please go ahead and install either Zender or word once it is stored that on your iphone it will show up here very important i usually use any of these word sender or excel so these three applications can share files so install one on your iphone so here i'll be selecting the word application or word folder because here it appears as folder so click on it this opens this page showing the files that are available on this folder inside this folder then click on add file this automatically opens the file explorer of your pc so navigate to the pictures folder or any folder where you have the picture or video you want to place in your iphone so i'm starting with pictures Okay, this is picture, this is picture, even this is picture. So let me work with this. So I'll click on it for it to be selected. Then I'll click on open. 
you can see this picture is now placed in my iPhone. Then let's go and get a video. So click on add file as usual. Now we get to where you save the video file you want to send to your iPhone. So I have a videos folder here, so I'll click on this. Then I have a sub folder, so I can open this as well. This is a video file, so I'll click on it and then click on open. You can see the progress. Good, this video file and the image have been placed on my iPhone. So let's get back to my iPhone and assess them. Okay, I am on my iPhone screen. By default, the video and the pictures will not be on the Photos app. They will not be there. So let's start. You can see they are not here. So what we need to do is that we need to access the Files app of our iPhone. Okay, then we save the picture and the video in our Photos app. Once you are on the Files app, you will see an interface that looks like this. Okay. So ensure that you are under this browse. Then select on my iPhone. Then remember what I used there was a Word folder. So tap on Word. So depending on whether you use Word or Zender. So tap on the folder, okay? Okay, you can see the image here and you can see the video here. So what I need to do is to tap on these three dots at the top right of the iPhone. Let's go with the option select. Then I will select these two options, these two files, okay? The video and the photo. Now that they have been selected, tap on this share icon, which is the arrow that points up at the bottom left. Drag up. Select save two items, depending on the number of items you selected, okay? Now, these two uh, items, which are our photos and the videos, are now saved in the Photos app. Let's go and take a check, okay? And okay, here you can see the photo. Then, the video doesn't show directly on this page, but it's available in the Photos app. For you to access it, tap on Albums. Okay, you can see Recent tab. So, the video is on the Recent tab, okay? So, you can... Use it for anything you want to use it for, okay? It's that simple. I hope you find this guide helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Here we discuss more on technology. So you have a lot to learn from this channel and grow in knowledge. Hit that like button for YouTube to share this video to more people. Please, just hit it, okay? Because it will still help me grow this channel. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know if this method works for you or not. Watch this video to learn another method to which you can share different file types from computer to an iPhone. Thank you and see you some other time.